Good morning, Colorado. What a Friday edition of Local Biz Buzz. I'm your host, Larry Hers. And today, in studio, coming all the way down from Boulder, Colorado, I have Rong from Kucha T. Welcome. Hi, thank you. You Welcome. see that? You see how I like bring that energy? Yes, I do see that energy. Does that scare you a little? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I'm a tea person. <laughs> uh, give me a little history of you and your tea company. Uh, so I'm the owner of Kucha House of Tea. Uh, me and my husband, we set up, set up the company back in 2005. So we are in tea business for more than 50, oh, yeah, 16 years now. Yeah. Amazing. And where are you originally from? I'm originally from China. And how'd you end up in Boulder? I went to CU Boulder for my master's degree, mm -hmm. and uh, that is back in 2000, yeah. And then the tea business is actually originated from my business plan preparation class. I wrote a one-page summary and, and pen it in for a competition among 25 co-classmates. And mine was turned down. <laughs> oh, I thought you were saying for sure that you won. <laughs> no, I was turned down. Um, but then I'm pretty sure, and I didn't verify that, I'm pretty sure I'm the one, only one business plan that actually turned into a business for the last 16 years. So when, when you wrote the plan, were you doing it just for school or did you really think I'm really gonna open this business uh, it, it was for school because <laughs> after I graduated from CU I found a job at key bank and I worked as a financial analyst for seven years ah so <laughs> so you forgot about it for a little while yeah, and then but then then suddenly we want to do a business and this tea business popped out and, then, and did you find your old paper and like pull it out of the no. files? <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. I, I should have. But yeah, you uh, should I find it. You get a frame. It's plus, well, it's probably not on paper. Yeah, it's somewhere. on a drive or yeah. somewhere on a file. Yeah. I'm so old, I think. Yeah, just pull it out of your paper files in your file cabinet. Because I have too. file cabinets because I'm old. Uh, so you opened the store in Boulder in what? In 2005? Yeah, in December 2005. And then we've been in business ever since. Uh, of course, there's up and downs. But then uh, right at this moment, we have our flagship bo uh, store in downtown Boulder on Pro Street. And uh, we have another shop in Fort Collins and uh, Old Town Square. We have a store in Cherry Creek North. Um, and two weeks ago, we opened to public of our Denver Pavilion store. If you could remember your professor's name who turned you down, you should probably uh, invite him the, for some tea. No, it's not the professor's uh, fault. It's actually a vote. Uh, oh. the I'm going to hunt down all, all your class. Yeah, 24 of them. Hey, <laughs> you didn't vote for me. Look at you. <laughs> so you, you started off the store, I assume you were not doing these canned teas at first. It was just loose leaf teas, right? Yeah, to start? in our stores, uh, we carry about 170 loose leaf teas. Uh, and we also wow. have tea services, like any tea we can turn into a drink. This beverage idea, actually, it's, we've always been wanting to do that, but then the COVID gave, gave us a last kick because uh, our, all our stores were shut down yeah. last uh, uh, March to early May. That caused a lot of difficulties and then forced us to figure out how to get our products to our customers through multiple channels rather than really just relying on our own shops and our online shop. We do have an online shop, kuchati.com. Um, so that's, um, we decide we are going to do the tea drinks and uh, all our beverages, um, iced teas and three kombuchas, they are all brewed from whole leaf teas we carry in our stores. Those are our most popular teas. We are tea person. We know tea. We've been team tea for 10 plus years. So we feel confident with those high quality whole leaf teas. We can turn that into beverages. All right, I'm going to uh, pour this one here. And tell them what flavor this one is. So this tea is called Sakura Cherry. So this tea is brewed from this tea. Oh, show, show it. Put it over here on the close up too. Yeah. 
So all Ooh. our... Jeez, when I open that up, that smell is unbelievable. <laughs> wow, is that fragrant. So all our beverages are brewed from our whole leaf teas. Mm -hmm. They are popular because we do have so many customers like them. They do not have any sweetener, any sugar. They do not have any artificial flavors. So they taste good and they are good for you. They I, have zero calories. <laughs> I don't think, it, you know, I definitely put like artificial sweetener in every iced tea. I don't think it needs it. I don't think it needs it. Which is weird. Yeah, and another good thing about those tea beverages is as a tea person, we really want the tea to be the star. We don't want the sugar to be the star. We don't want the bubbles to be the star. We want the tea to be the awesome. star. And our customers will have authentic Ooh, tea experiences Look at the color whenever of that. or wherever they go. Okay, what flavor is this do. one? This is a golden monkey black tea. That is a single origin black tea from Fujian province. And why it's called Golden Monkey? Because Don't I'm tell crazy. me there's a monkey in there. <laughs> no, it's because the leaves is very curly and have a lot of golden threads that resemble the monkey's claws. Ah, all right, <laughs> love that. Um, mm. So give a try of that. It will taste different than a typical but, black tea, iced tea you find in marketplaces. But even still, I could see me drinking that without, without sweetness. Yeah, there's no Splenda. sweetness in no, our no. iced tea. I would normally put like Splenda. Yeah. And okay. he's pouring out my jasmine oolong tea. Oolong tea is a semi-oxidized tea in between green tea and black tea. Very good for digestion and uh, actually pair very well with Asian food. If you have sesame noodle or some sort, it goes very well. <clears throat> yeah, we have jasmine oolong served in this border restaurant called Pig and Tiger. They go a heck of it, so. Let's try this one and then we got one more. <laughs> yeah, that's delicious, no surprise. <laughs> All right, and then the last one I have, this is a white tea. I give it a name called Summer Tranquility. I know we are at the end of the summer. But this tea is infused with peach and apricot. White tea is the least processed tea among tea categories. So give you most of the tea nutrients, such as uh, plant-based polyphenols, antioxidants, so yeah, white tea is very good for your health and tastes good. Good choice. And yeah, it does not does not need any sugar to sweeten it. No. You will get the Ooh. health benefit of it, and you will like it. <laughs> so this is the four iced teas I'm bringing today. Um, <clears throat> we also have some kombuchas. I don't know whether we have time to go. Oh, we'll just tell them what you yeah. got. We don't have to pour them and drink them. Yeah. Mm. So tea is a very versatile. The same tea, such as this Sakura Cherry I just showed you guys. Remember this one? Mm -hmm. We also turn it, that into kombucha. Maybe we can at least try one, yeah? Sure, sure. <laughs> okay. Which one do you want me to try? The I'll pink, drink it out of the can. The pink one. Yeah. Pink yeah. one? Yeah, the pink one. So that is... Uh, mm. Oh, Ooh, I know. This is a bubbly one. Mm. Our kombucha is brewed with tea and fermented with cane sugar, with culture. There's nothing more than that in the tea. We don't put the juice in kombucha. We don't put artificial flavor. Again, even in kombuchas, we want the tea to be the star. It's fantastic. <laughs> all right, so everybody wants to know where can they buy these teas? Uh, you can buy all those cans in four of the kucha stores. Um, that's in downtown Boulder, Cherry Creek North, downtown Denver, and uh, Old Town for Collins. You can find those teas at uh, about 25 retail channels, such as 
Lucky's Market in both Boulder and Fort Collins. Um, all the five Ozo coffee shops. Uh, Ginger Pick is a very good Asian themed Denver restaurant. Can, can they buy them on, online on your uh, website? We, yeah, you can buy from online. That is kuchati.com. I think you did great. Is that it? We're done. Yeah. Anything else before we go? Um, thank you so much for having me. I am very proud of, proud of the products we are bringing today. You should and be. And I want everybody to drink more tea and stay healthy and stay safe. And happy Labor Day weekend. Yeah. Have a long weekend. Yeah. Thank you so much. Cheers. Thanks for coming in. Pleasure to meet you. All right. We'll be uh, doing what's for lunch today at 1130. We have Bistro Vendam coming from Larimer Square. Love those guys. Let's drink. That's really good. Tea, right? Like, I'm not a kombucha guy, but that is, yeah. I could be for this. Yeah, our kombucha is not very vinegary. Which I no, which is, is yeah. 